I don't want to look like a bag of rice anymore. So by fire, by force, we must get snatched. Without the devil like stood up. Okay. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Please do want to subscribe if you haven't and be part of the family. I really do hope you stay and please subscribe. I'm begging. And of course, if you're a returning subscriber, you're most definitely welcome back to another video. Thank you so very much for tuning back in. Today, I am going to be sharing with you guys um, um just a tip that it aid me in my weight loss. If you did not know, I have a weight loss video up on my channel, how I did lose um, say over 40 pounds. Um, if you're interested in that, I'll on somewhere up on the screen or in the description box, you can check that out. Um, so today I'm going to be talking about waist training and how it did aid my weight loss. Um, I'm also gonna include pictures and everything so you guys can see my progress if you do not know what waist training is there are a lot of videos on youtube that does explain it in depth i really do not know how to explain that i'm just going to share with you guys what i did exactly pertaining to waist training and how it aided my weight loss super super fast if you do not know as of october 2020 i started my weight loss officially um, as of right now, I currently weigh 167. Um, I started off at 220, if I'm not mistaken, 220 pounds. And right now we're in March and I'm currently 167 pounds. So, you could do the math. I've lost quite a lot of weight. And I want to say before you do get your, um, before you do go ahead to purchase a waist trainer, just make sure to know your actual size, just so you'll be comfortable and so it does fit you properly. You do not want it to be too loose, and you also do not want your waist trainer to be too tight. You just want it to be the right fit. So make sure you do know your size. Um, well, I did. I did not get my waist trainer online. I got it in a store in Toronto. I'm going to leave it down in the description box if you are here ever. I've been hearing about waist training for a long, long time, but I never really hopped on it. I never really like tried. Um, so my first ever waist trainer I got, I would say, was in high school back in 2016. I didn't really I use it consistently and um the right way i just wore it like whenever i felt like to wear it so i did so the first question i ever ever got was on amazon i think i watched a couple youtube videos to like see um what's called like the right one to get because i always 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 see people wearing one particular waist trainer I, I didn't really know what it was for sweet sweat sweet sweat belt from amazon i think it was about 23 dollars about all 30 dollars i'm not sure but i'll do leave it, the link down in the description if you're interested um yeah so i usually see people wear this or i see some people wear it to work out i also do see people wear it like underneath their clothing um yeah so i this was the first ever one i got with my money um yeah so i only use this to work out and you cannot waste trim this some people call this a waist trainer I, I this is a sweat belt so it's like i feel like people like mistake this for a waist trainer trainer this is just to work out and just for you to sweat in like specific areas like your stomach i did get this in a size medium um right now i do not use it anymore like, to me i feel like this is very uncomfortable if you are need to like work now you're trying to lose weight this is perfect it's it's very very affordable so if you're planning to like waist train or like get your waist snatched this would not do nothing for you it's going to be wasting your downtime so so after i did use a sweet sweat belt that sounds so confusing so after i did use a sweet sweat belt good i did what i did go ahead to get one from like a store in my area um where i leave i'm going to also leave the link in the description if you're interested in getting one um, so this wasn't this was the first ever. I think it retail for about seventy five dollar. I'm not sure. So it's about seventy five to eighty. I know. So it has. It does have two hooks. Um, the first like this, you start with this one, and then you move on to the to this one. So this was I started off in a size thirty six. I don't know how like how big my like stomach like my waist was to actually like say uh, like to like tell you guys an actual like 
how many inches my waist was so i can't really say because i didn't measure myself then so i did wear this for about eight hours every day um i wake up in the morning um first thing i'll drink my water obviously um and then i would proceed to if i was just staying home the whole day if i was staying home the whole, the whole day i would just go ahead to wear my waist trainer for like I try to wake up early so I would take it off early like you know so if I wake up at 8 o'clock I was I would put it on like fresh it up and then put on this waist trainer for about eight hours so I could take it up at least before like seven o'clock in the evening time um yeah but when I'm when I do go to work I also work for eight hours or if I'm working a 12 hour shift I, I would try my best to leave it on for at least 12 hours and it is not the most pleasant feeling it's not the most comfortable like feeling or experience but it is worth it times and i find that when you wear it to work it's more comfortable compared to when you're wearing at home because like you're gonna be sitting down you're gonna lie down it's gonna be the, the hooks and the thing right here i don't know what's called the irons inside or the metals they're gonna make you uncomfortable like on um, like in your stomach so it's very uncomfortable and i feel um, I'll pref I do prefer to wear it to work when I'm more active and like, you know, on my toes. It's way, way, way better. So I, like I said, I wear it for eight hours every day. I, if you do want to see result, like you want to be sure, just try to wear the wish now for at least eight hours tops, like minimum eight hours a day. And just try for two weeks straight and also try to eat like small portions. If you're not like eating... If you don't eat salads or stuff like that, although I would advise you to eat to eat healthy, but if you're not going down that way, you could eat whatever you want, but just try to eat in moderation in like smaller portions. And also just try for two weeks straight, eight hours a day for two weeks, and you're gonna see a huge difference. And also try to take before and after pictures just to track your progress and see how far you've gone. So I did use this waist trainer for about four months before i like size down to like um a smaller size and it, i mean i wasn't like consistent with my food or like my diet so like it kind of slowed me down and sometimes i fall off like we're humans we fall off sometimes you know what i'm saying so i kind of fell off sometimes i'll eat junk and i'll just you know just fall off my diet and i would just not wear the waist trainer so that kind of like slowed my progress and also like slowed me down from sizing down to like the other the next size um, my address will be to incorporate eating healthy and or having smaller portions of meal and not eating at night. I prefer to pull on my waist trainer when I wake up because, you know, you just want to be snatched. And also the fact that you're wearing the waist trainer for like a long period of time, it does shrink your waist and gives you the like hourglass, the like hourglass figure. Um, some people say waist trainers, like it doesn't make you lose weight some people say it does in my opinion it did help me lose weight everyone does have a different experience with things so in my opinion this did aid my weight loss um it's just be the like the overall thing is just to be consistent with anything you're doing if you're starting off with weight training try to just be consistent for two weeks and you are gonna see a huge difference in like your waist size and your stomach, how much it shrinks. Because when you're wearing it, it's uncomfortable because it's like sucking you in. So you're not even gonna personally. I don't even think of food when I'm when I do when I'm wearing the waist trainer. I just wanna like just get on my eight hours or twelve hour shift and just go home and just take the shit out. So, I don't know, explain it. like if you take your mind off of it, you you're gonna be more relaxed. If that makes sense. So, February like last month I'm at 36 I sized down to 34 so right now I'm currently of where using this waist trainer and it's a size 34 I don't know if you guys can see it right here size 34 and I got it from the same company very stretchy you could work out you could actually work out in this but it's kind of uncomfortable and again I do not advise anyone my enemy, my friend, to sleep with a waist trainer. Some people say they go to bed, they go to bed with a waist trainer, but like it is uncomfortable. 
personally whenever i try to do it one time and i really could not breathe it's super uncomfortable like you can't really turn you just try to be stagnant in one position and that you don't enjoy your sleep so i don't want that so and now i'm a size 34 um i'm going to insert videos of how my waist does look like currently um it's listen i'm going to show you before and after so you guys can see the difference like i still do the same thing i right now i do not work out as much but i i do try to eat like small portions and i also do intermediate fasting i said that in my weight loss in my weight loss video if you do want to check that out it'll be on the screen or somewhere down in the description box you could go check that out if you're uh, if you are interested and also you can also get wish journals from amazon um i think um where, where else um I don't know my body you get it on Amazon too. If someone were to ask me what I think about weight training, I would say weight training does work if you are consistently putting the work and you're wearing it for the right amount of time. And also if you're using your right size because um, you don't want it to be too big, you don't want it to be too tight, you just want it to be the right size. So which is why I say before you go purchase the waist training, know your size or you could ask why when you get there, ask for a measurement if you do not, so they could help you out if you do not know your actual size. Um, I was like I said in the video, I would advise wearing the wish for eight hours minimum. You could try five hours and then you could work your way up. But I would say minimum to actually see result would be to wear the wish for eight hours a day, eat in smaller portions and in moderation. Or you gotta put in the work. Um, I'm gonna leave a link of where I got it from, when to leave my size and everything down in the description if you are interested in getting anything from there and also please make sure to give this a big fat thumbs up and also let me know if you want to see more weight loss um more videos pertaining to weight loss weight straining or skincare or anything like that and i'm going to see you guys in my next one